Hey, this is Mark Smith from Digital Roughnecks. And in this episode, I'm gonna be talking about brand new EPA emission regulations. Really, the update is around methane monitoring. So I put together this chart that I'm gonna show you here. And in this chart, we have the requirement. And then we have a column here for the current uh, EPA, which is called Quadro A. And then there's the proposed Quad OB. That's for every new site from November 15th, 2021 forward. Quad OC is everything before that, okay? And then I, for comparison purposes, I put a column in there for the current Colorado rules, which up till now have been ahead or stricter than anything the EPA has ever put out. So just to give you a contrast there. Uh, first question, does Quad OA go away? No, if there's any holes in this chart, Quad OA is still in effect. Nothing really goes backwards. So if you're thinking, wow, maybe on a particular item, EPA is gonna get less strict on the regulations, the answer is no. Okay, so let's take a look here. So first of all, it's the frequency. So today, Quad OA is every six months, the new proposed rule which again goes into effect if nothing else changes um, in uh, 2022. So you have to check your LDAR frequency quarterly and um, that will also include everything, uh, older sites as well. Now in Colorado, um, it's different. Uh, any new site from May 1st, 2021, it has to be checked continuously, any brand new site up through the first six months of production and then everything else is monthly so it's pretty much the the rules in colorado so it is again colorado um, is the most uh, stringent still on the repair side currently you fix a find a leak got to fix within 30 days um, they're actually relaxing this a little bit they're saying hey you got to make the first attempt in 30 days and then you have to fix the uh, within 30 days of the first detection same thing with Quad OC. And, and pretty much, I'm not gonna cover Quad OC because where they're headed with this is pretty much all, well, their intent would be that all the new regulations would apply to all sites. And again, what sites are covered? Any site that has a potential of emitting three tons per year of methane or more, which pretty much is, if you're doing LDAR inspections today, you're covered, okay? Um, so they have a term in here, best system of emission reduction. Okay. And before it was OGI, OGI cameras or method 21. Now they're pretty much saying it's OGI. Okay. That's the best way of finding a leak and leading toward fixing a leak. Leak definition, 60 grams uh, per hour, half methane, half propane. This one is 17 grams per hour. So it's a smaller leak they're looking for. Again, it's a mixture of methane and butane. Okay. And uh, Colorado just defaults to the EPA definition. Compressor station. Okay. You got to check it quarterly. Oh, this bumped up to annual. Interesting. Um, and again, the Colorado makes no distinction. So you got to check it like any other site. Um, centrifugal compressors, centralized processing facility. Okay, what they're basically saying is, hey, you have to put on some emission controls that get you to 95%, okay? Gas processing plants, they're wanting you to now check with OGI bi-monthly, okay? Uh, repair, first attempt within uh, five days, final um, within 15 days, okay? And, um, <clears throat> oh yeah, 15 days of detection. Um, zero emitting pneumatic pumps. So this is new. So they're saying, hey, we want you to, um, we want you to uh, put zero emitting pumps at new facilities. Okay. Now, whether they'll ask you to go backwards is to be determined. Okay. Liquid loadouts. 
Okay, this is a new zero emission loadouts. What does that mean? Anytime you're loading something out from your site, you need to do and prove that you have zero emissions. Now, there is something already in Colorado called the loadout observation, which requires, and it's it's a visual thing. You've got to show visually that you're, um, you know, your loadout, but now um, EPA is bumping up. So in this case, it's, EPA is going to be higher than Colorado, where it's saying, hey, your loadouts have to be with zero emissions. Okay, tank batteries, currently no regulations. New ones are 95% reduction in emissions. Uh, you got to monitor thief hatch openings, monitor VOCs at the battery level. Okay, that's going to go for old sites as well. Now, Colorado basically says, hey, don't open the thief hatch. Okay. And if you do, if they see some sort of uh, violation, it's 49 grand per violation. So it's pretty significant. So it looks like, to be honest with you, that EPA is headed in the direction of Colorado here. Combustor monitoring. Okay. Um, there's now regulations saying no open flaring. You got to capture the gas or use some sort of combustor device that's 95 to 98% efficient. 95 is the minimum, okay? Um, same thing in Colorado, no open flares, capture gas, are using 95% ECD. Now, what Colorado has done starting in February 2022 is add a weekly visual ECD monitoring and annual testing of combustor efficiency. So it's not good enough just to put a combustor device on there that's supposed to be 95% efficient. You have to now prove it. And with Colorado, you kind of have to prove it almost every week. Okay, AIM. Um, so there really no, needs to be a little bit of work here on the AIM approval process. Um, the current process, and that's for approved instrument measurement method because there's lots of new methane technology that's available all trying to get approved. And with the EPA, you have to approve it by operator and basin. Okay. Whereas in Colorado, you can get it approved, your technology process and methodology approved, and it covers every operator everywhere in Colorado. So that's good, right? Um, it's a very stringent process in Colorado. My hope is that the EPA will adopt more of the Colorado style AIM application process, um, which, which impacts, again, continuous monitoring solutions that are trying to be approved. Okay, methane intensity measurement, um, something new. You have to prove sort of an overall methane intensity measurement, okay? And my, my sense is that Colorado, and by the way, every state is required. If you do nothing, if, no, if, you, if a state doesn't have their own regulations, um, they have to essentially adopt the EPAs. That's the minimum level now across the whole country. Um, <clears throat> Baseline fugitive, fugitive emission calculations. Here's the deal, a big, big change. Um, before it was, you're using a formula from the EPA and the new thing, you're using actual measurements, okay? And you have to use an OGI method, default, or some uh, approved method, okay? Um, Again, methane intensity reporting requirements, there wasn't any before, but it looks like that's just gonna be folded into the requirement online, twice a year, bottoms up, source level inventory, okay? That's what you're eventually gonna to have to do. And then for the continuous monitoring solutions, which for them, they're talking about like sensors. Um, we of course have a continuous OGI solution. You have to be able to, to prove that you can do blind testing at 10 kilograms per hour. That's the minimum leak you need to be able to see, which is quite a large leak. Um, but if you don't have a visual OGI, you have to follow it up with an OGI at least every two months. Okay. So um, no matter what, OGI is still the standard way of looking for leaks. And, um, and it's the best system of emission reduction still, okay? So that is a quick summary. If you'd like a copy of this chart and with all my notes and details about it, 
um, please send me an email, mark at cleanconnect.ai, and I'll send you a copy. Thanks.